Hey everyone, we're out here today to talk about evaluating your planter downforce performance in the field. With today's planter monitoring technology, we can usually get a good sense of how our planters are operating while we plant, but there's nothing as good as looking at the plants themselves to truly understand how they're affected. We know the corn seed needs good seed to soil contact in the furrow in order to take advantage of the heat and moisture required to germinate and emerge. And we wanna make sure that every seed gets a consistent amount of heat and moisture so that they all emerge at the same time. As we've talked in the past, we know that the two major factors we're trying to control in planter downforce management to ensure consistent emergence are achieving depth and reducing compaction. We planted this field about June 16th and then did some emergence flagging a few days later as the corn started coming up. In our trial on insufficient downforce, we flagged one one thousandth of an acre and only had 25% emerge on the first day with 50% on day four. That's given us a lot of opportunity to evaluate some late emerge plants. You know, at this stage, we wanna look for any plants that have a noticeably smaller stalk diameter or any plants without an ear. These are all potential late emergers. Digging these plants out and removing the brace roots and soil from the root area, we should still be able to find the mesocotyl in the seed. From here, we can measure the distance from the seed to the crown. Adding three quarters of an inch to that will give us our depth, as we know that the crown of the plant always sets three quarters of an inch below the surface. This will tell us if our seed was planted shallow. If you find enough of these shallow plants, you may question if you were applying enough downforce on your planter. How about the other side of the equation? It can be a lot harder to spot plants that were planted with excessive downforce. One way to evaluate this is on the ears. Around the V6 or V7 stage, the plant is setting the number of rows around on the ear. Stress at this point can greatly affect yield potential as each row accounts for about 11 bushels per acre. The same stage is when the number three crown roots are trying to break out of the furrow. If they can't, due to sidewall compaction, you're going to have a reduction in the girth of the ear. Here we can see a couple of examples of ears where stress has reduced the number of rows around. Doing spot checks on some ears, then digging those plants to see if there is any evidence of hatchet roots is a great way to evaluate whether there was some excessive downforce at planting. You know, planting with a great monitor in the cab is essential, but it's always good to get out of the cab and evaluate the crop you planted. We can learn a lot from plants throughout the season to help us make better decisions with how we set our equipment. Mm -hmm.